DSC sample preparation. Mettler Toledo has crucibles for every need. Today, we will show DSC sample preparation. We will use the aluminum standard 40 microliter and the aluminum 100 microliter crucible. Samples will be a powder and a liquid suspension. For DSC sample preparation, you need a micro balance placed on a stone table, the crucible box with crucibles, a crucible sealing press, a lab journal, and of course, the samples. DSC measurements are carried out with a reference and a sample crucible, each with a lid. In order to achieve good measurement results, the crucible and lid combinations weight on the sample and the reference side should not differ more than 0.2 milligrams. Let's start with the preparation of a powder sample. In order to allow the atmosphere above the sample to expand, the lids are pierced. The different number of holes make the sample and reference easier to distinguish. Pierce the reference lid with two holes. and the sample lid with one hole by placing them on the eraser and using the standard needle from the crucible box. Place the crucible and lid on the balance and tear. Place the funnel contained in the crucible box on the crucible and fill in about 10 milligrams of powder with a spatula. The funnel makes sure that no sample is spilt on the rim of the crucible. Remove the funnel. Close the weighing compartment and let the balance stabilize. Read the weight displayed on the balance terminal and note it down in your laboratory journal. If the balance is connected to the PC, the weight can be directly transferred to the experiment window of the STAR TA software with the push of a button. Close the crucible using the crucible press. Place the crucible on the die of the press. Apply the crucible lid, center it, and rotate the lever to move the plunger down until its resistance is overcome. The lid is now cold welded to the crucible rim. For preparation of liquids in 100 microliter aluminum crucibles, we use lids as received to hermetically seal the crucible. In order to prevent reaction of the crucible with water, the crucible and lids can be stored in a desiccator with a wet atmosphere overnight. The aluminum surfaces then will be passivated. After tearing, fill in the liquid, such as an aqueous suspension, into the crucible using a syringe. Do not fill it more than halfway to avoid problems with thermal expansion. The sample will evaporate as long as the crucible is open, so one should work quickly. Cold weld the lid to the crucible and check the weight gain. Leave it on the balance for some time. The crucible is tight if the weight does not decrease by more than 20 micrograms within five minutes. Write down the weight in the laboratory journal. Such a correctly crimped crucible should withstand a temperature of up to 120 degrees Celsius when heated at 10 Kelvin per minute. If self-generated atmosphere above the sample is desired, use a special perforated aluminum lid with laser cut 50 micrometer hole. This is sometimes necessary to shift evaporation or for boiling point studies. Take care that the welding occurs evenly distributed on the crucible rim. You have seen how to prepare a powder and a liquid sample for DSC measurements. Further tips and hints can be found in the book Thermal Analysis and Practice.